PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. We also invite and welcome anyone interested in taking care of their mental health to experience our content. In last week's video, we discussed how some of us can be susceptible to worrying about the small things, even though we may be really busy. These thoughts can sort of become like a virus in our head and distract us from the task at hand. We then told you what you can do when this tendency arises. This week, we want to talk about and provide some suggestions to deal with the problem of judgment. By judgment, we're referring to judging others and oneself. The reason we want to talk about this tendency to judge is because having a constant chatter of judgment in your head can really make you stressed and irritable. And you might not notice that this is happening. Let me ask you two questions. Do you think you frequently judge? Are you sure? If you really don't judge yourself or others, that's great because that means you've eliminated one source of anxiety and stress. But in all seriousness, you may wonder how to address this problem. So here are some suggestions. As we like to say, the first step to change is always through awareness. In other words, accepting when you might be judging others or yourself. So, you need to take some time to consider the ways you may be judging yourself or others. If you listen to your inner dialogue, you might notice certain thoughts popping into your head that involve judgment. Once you identify such thoughts, ask yourself, can another perspective be taken on this matter? The trick here is not to get caught up on whether th this alternative perspective is correct, but whether there might be one. You might even consider looking for what are called cognitive distortions in your judgments. Simply put, cognitive distortions are considered to be errors in one's thinking. They're often in the form of generalizations. If you can correct these errors, you can replace them with new thoughts that are more accurate and make you feel better. For more information, we have done videos on cognitive behavioral therapy in the past, which you can access from our channel or by joining our free newsletter. Finally, ask yourself the following. Is what I'm concerning myself over really that important in the grand scheme of things? Now, there are many other techniques and strategies that we discuss in our free newsletter, which provides an overall approach to anxiety, stress, panic attacks, and ADHD. Please visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to presenting another video next week. Take care. PanicAttackRecovery.com